The second tallest skyscraper in London after the Shard is due to be built in Croydon. The mayor has given it the green light, but should London be building more high-rise towers? Jerry Thomas reports. This is one Lansdowne Road, soon to be hitting the Croydon skyline. Other than the Shard, it will be the tallest building in London, and according to the developer's website, it will be visible all the way from Piccadilly to Brighton. It's a mixed-use development. It will have residential, 794 units, plus over 35,000 uh, square metres of office space, plus retail, swimming pool, and a public viewing gallery as well. This is what the site looks like today. Demolition is due to start next autumn, with the site completed by the mid-2020s. Views from all around the area will be transformed. But of the 794 homes, only 20% will be classed as affordable, well below the mayor's aim of 50% across London. It isn't acceptable. The mayor said it wasn't acceptable in his first response to the planning application. Uh, what we've seen change since then is a really minor improvement in the level of some of the rents that are being offered in the 20% affordable homes. It's gone down from the old definition of affordable at 80% of market rates to London living rent, which is a third of local wages. Now, that genuinely is affordable, but it's a tiny, tiny number of flats in this development. I don't think the mayor has pushed back enough on this. I think it's a poor planning decision. If you think of all the people living around it in Croydon whose need is proper social rents, council levels of rent, there's none of that in this tower. It's a monument to a bad planning decision, and they're going to have to look at it for many, many years to come. Along with affordability, many Londoners' top concern about housing, in light of the tragedy of Grenville, is now fire safety. Will Londoners still be happy to live high up in the way they once were? Well, people, rightly so, are concerned about fire in tall buildings. Uh, the good thing about Lansdowne is it's a purpose-built residential building. It's over 30 metres, and so it will be required to have sprinklers. And, of course, before it gets anywhere close to construction, it will need to have met all the building regulations and, uh, and be thoroughly assessed by trained building surveyors. While one Lansdowne Road's height will make it unique, it may come to represent a change in the nature of housing across outer London. To deal with the housing crisis, the Mayor wants people to build higher and more densely. So, the future of London suburbs could well look like this. So, Sarah, it's in your constituency. Um, Sean Berry from The Green says it's a monument to a bad planning decision. Is she right? I think um, it's um, quite an interesting development. Whether it ever gets built, we'll wait and see. But if you look at the context of Croydon, it's a major transport hub. It's a major economic area, has been for many, many years, since medieval times when people came and traded from the coast up to London. So it's going to be a major hub. It's got lots of tall buildings already. We've Are you got a, a fan? Big development. I think, it's, I think it's fine. I don't think it's the most beautiful building I've ever seen. But I think it's got affordable housing at a level which, you know, within the London plan is acceptable they had to go some it's only extra 20 mile it's only 20 percent of this development and Sadiq Khan said it should be 50 percent and when Boris Johnson was the mayor his average was 13 percent of new developments were affordable right housing. so you're saying so that that's it's your higher. benchmark then it's high it's not as high as we would want it to be but what they had to do is they had to prove in the planning meeting that they looked at what was possible and what was feasible and they had to provide a lot more information to City Hall about what was possible and feasible for that development and that was the level they got to what they did do what they did manage to do to via the mayor yeah. Yes. was to make sure that more of those um, homes will be um, London living rent um, uh, housing, which is a good thing. All right. I mean, Bob, are you a fan of having more tall buildings, um, higher density? Is that the future for meeting London's housing shortage? I don't think we have a choice, do we? We've, we're going to have to do that. But, but the fact of the matter is, um, this doesn't affect my constituency, apart from making the skyline from it of Croydon, which I think is rather pretty, actually. I, I like the... the it looks... It looks like, you know, a really great place. Yeah. It looks, from a distance, from my constituency, a great place. But and I think it's up to the people that live there, mm. to be honest. I mean, if, if the people that live there want it, that is the cr crucial but thing. But who's going to be able to afford to actually live there, if we're talking about 80% of market rent? Well, there's a lot of it is offices anyway, and, um, uh, you know, there's a swimming pool and a restaurant and, and other parts of the development um, and 20% is affordable and you're absolutely right yeah. we need to do a lot more to build more affordable housing and that is absolutely Sadiq Khan's number one priority in, in major ha in planning developments and you know I would like local authorities to be able to borrow so they can build 
straight council housing so that we can provide the affordable housing people need? Well, that's for another discussion, of course, but that's all we have time for. Thank you to both of you.